What's up guys, welcome, and uh, how are you? Hope you're doing well. I, as you can see, am still on a business trip and actually found inspiration on the trip by the trip. I was inspired by my hotel that I'm staying in to make this week's video. Title, things I do at a hotel that I could do at home, but don't. But because that title is entirely too long for YouTube, we're gonna go with first world conveniences. Number one, use the dishwasher after every single time I use a dish. Why not? Could I hand wash it? Of course. Do I have a dishwasher at home? No. So I'm gonna use up the one I have here. I know not all hotels have a dishwasher, but this one does, so I'm gonna use it. Truth is, I actually hand wash it instead of using the dishwasher because that would waste an absurd amount of water. But hey, it was funny if I did it that way, so you get the point. Number two, normally I don't, but at a hotel, I do care that my bed is made with ninja skills and precision. What's that? You didn't fluff my pillow for me? What? Oh, I'm so tired, I might just go have a nap on my, ooh, lovely looking beddy vibe. Hotel activity number three. Drink bottled water. I don't normally drink bottled water, I fill it up with a Brita filter, but since it's readily available, I guess I could crack open a new bottle every now and then, or every day. Mm. I mean, they don't have a Brita filter, but they do have bottled water. What's a first world kind of guy gonna do? Convenience number four. Normally I wouldn't, but at a hotel, I sleep with every available pillow. What's that? King size bed with four pillows? Do I need it? Nah. Am I gonna use it all? Absolutely. It's like a squishy pillow fort that you get to sleep in. Number five, take as long a shower as I want because you're warm and cozy and not paying for the water. And after that lovely, extra long, luxurious shower, number six, use a new towel every single day. What's that? I've used this once. It could have some leftover dampness. I'll just use another one. Thanks so much. You even rolled it up for me. There's three. I'm just gonna take the top one again and again, and you're gonna keep refilling it Again, roll, refill, repeat. Bargains. Number seven seems simple. I watch TV. I don't really watch TV at home. I have Netflix and, you know, those streaming services. But sometimes you just want to bash through a bunch of channels to find nothing and say, what am I doing watching TV? Ah, oh, it's really satisfying. Plus, they have HBO. There's always something relevant on HBO. Number eight. Something I wouldn't normally do is steal. The shampoo and conditioner, it's free. I could take it for later. What if I'm stuck in the desert at a motel and they don't have shampoo? And that one time I got it from a real nice swanky hotel, I have a little miniature bottle, problem solved. Do I use it? No. Is that scenario ridiculous? Yes. Will I throw it away in a year and a half? Probably. But you know what? It's a thought that counts. And in this one, it's a shampoo thought. I don't know what that means. Moving on. Number nine, I would never normally do this, but I ignore readily made food for me. I buy cereal so I can then go and eat the cereal in my own hotel room because going downstairs to the kitchen dining area is too much work at 7.30 in the morning. Have a full breakfast. Have some hash browns, some fruits, some oatmeal. We've got every selection you could want. Eh, convenience in it. It's disgusting. Number 10 is quite satisfying, I must say. When I'm at the hotel, I like to hand slam the soap dispenser. See, when I'm at home and I have a special peach bellini from Bath and Body Works, I use maybe a quarter press to make it last as long as humanly possible. But when I didn't go out and get this specifically, boom shakalaka! Do I need a copious amount of soap engulfing my hands? No! Is it fun? Yes! Why not do it? I have no idea! And finally, most importantly, something we should all do whether we're at a hotel, at our home, or wherever. Sometimes, the best thing you should do is nothing. Just stop. Enjoy the moment you're living in and relax for a hot second. The world is a crazy flipping place. Sit down, listen to the silence or some music. Just do nothing. Don't fill your brain with unnecessary... Take a deep breath and enjoy that nothing. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of things I do at a hotel that I could do at home that I just don't do. Now take all of this with a grain of salt because I do think about the world we live in and energy and resources. I don't take our showers. I don't actually put the dishwasher stuff on every day. That would, would be stupid. But take a moment, enjoy it. Do something differently. I do do the soap thing. The soap thing's fantastic. Don't even care. I'll, I'll do two pumps sometimes. I'm just like, pfft. 
Oh, look at this magical, soapy fun. So yeah, next time you're at a hotel, think of this video. What would you do? Let me know. If you have a little list of things you do when you're at a hotel and you're not on your own home dime, what is your relaxation and or luxurious treat that you give yourself at a hotel? I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. It helps me, it helps the YouTube world. It puts positivity into the atmosphere, and that's good. Everyone likes good karma. If you haven't seen last week's video, it happens to be around here somewhere probably up in that corner. Anyway, watch my videos because they're funny. Hopefully I make you smile. If not, what? Oh, almost forgot. Subscribe to the channel. It's right over there. Do it. It helps my life and your life be more exciting and funny and filled with happiness. I would actually really appreciate it. I'm uh, taking steps on the journey of YouTubes and uh, you can come along with me. Do it. I'd love it. Fantastic. Y5. That's a high five over Wi-Fi. You see? You see? What? happen because I'm here digitally and you're there via the internet. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, brilliant. I will see y'all next week, but until then, be fresh, be merry, be a fuzzy little bunny if it makes you happy. I don't mind. Put a smile on my face if it puts a smile on your face. I will see you next week. Goodbye!